Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to Northern Burlington County Regional High School. I am Mr. James Dowd. I'm joined by broadcast alum, Mr. Tyler Kay. We are here live. It is Monday, April 1st, and we are kicking off the spring season as the Northern Burlington Greyhounds take on the RV Red Devils in a great boys tennis matchup. How are you doing today, TK? I'm doing great, Jimbo. Pleasure to be here. I'm really excited to be here for this matchup. It's a beautiful day for tennis as it is opening day here at the farm and it is a cool 50 degrees. Northern comes into this one led by head coach Miss Maria Tomasetti. She is a history teacher here at the high school and she's had a lot of success as a head coach. Miss Tomasetti and Mr. Fuller also coached the girls tennis team. They had a very successful season this past fall going 12 and 3, only losing to Jackson Memorial and Morristown twice. And in 2017, they won the division for the first time in Northern Burlington history, so I'm sure she's got the boys motivated and ready to go today. Northern was 10-7 and seven last year. They were really competitive. They finished red hot, actually, 5-2 and two in their last seven games, and they advanced to the Group 3 quarterfinals, defeating Nottingham in the first round and then falling to Heightstown, who then fell to Lawrence three sets to two. But we've got a great heated rivalry here as Northern takes on RV. Should be a really competitive match. Now, RV... Beat Northern twice last season, but both were hard-fought 3-2 matches. And every time these two schools play, no matter what the sport is, it's always highly competitive. Hard-fought first game. And that actually says a lot about the Hounds because two years ago, RV really had their number, defeating them five sets to zero in both matchups. So Northern's come a long way, and I'm sure they're looking to get a big win here at home to start their season. Last season, the Hounds were 5-3 and three at home. They were 5-4 and four on the road. And in addition to this great doubles match we have here, we've got some great singles matches as well as Vince Paulson takes on Daruv Mahdi in the first singles match. We have Anketh Keshareddy versus Jatin Mahdi in the second singles match. Nikhil Arayath versus Matt Praskravich in the third singles. And in the doubles matchup, we have David Chiavone and Jishkaran Singh versus Mike Krause and Matt Bolgan. In addition to our first double match here, which is Joe Campbell and Ryan Gallagher versus Sean Lally and Devin Fox for RV. Obviously, we're filming this matchup, but we'll update our viewers throughout with some other scores or at the end of the match to see how these shake out. Now, Northern had some big wins last season versus local teams such as Burlington Township, Cinnaminson, and Del Ran, and they had some tough losses, as I stated. They fell to RV last year, three sets to two. They had some tough losses versus Morristown, East Brunswick, and Palmyra. And they're actually going to be playing Morristown tomorrow for their second game of the season. The offense really came out to play in this one, Jimbo. You feel the energy level of the crowd, and it really pumps up our athletes out there. And we love to see the community support parents, teachers, staff members, students on hand. And we've got a great game here underway. And boom goes the dynamite. Great play by the Greyhounds. Absolutely. Plenty of time here in the first set. So this Hounds team has a lot of experience. We've got five seniors on the court right now. And I know Coach Tomasetti would love nothing more than to get a big win here on our opening day. The coaches have done a great job this season. We also have our softball team going to be playing against Hunterdon Central later this afternoon, and we'll be on hand for that, Northern TV as well, to keep you up to date. Now, RV, they were 12-5 and five last year. They're led by head coach Mr. Jonathan Freetag. They had some big wins last year versus local teams like Seneca, Del Ran, Florence. And they also had some tough losses to teams like Morristown, Haddonfield, Morristown Friends. But they finished 10-2 and two in their last 12, so they're coming in this one on a hot streak. They lost in the Group 4 tournament quarterfinal round to Cherry Hill. They defeated Williamstown. But they also travel really well. They were 7-3 and three last year on the road, 5-2 and two at home. And they've got a great lineup of seniors as well, in addition to Devin Fox and Sean Lally, who are out there right now. They've got this team fired up. There's really great players on both sides. When you have this many good players around you, it's hard not to look good. Now 
Now, you can follow all Northern Sports on Twitter at NBC underscore athletics. That's run by our athletic director, Dr. Dan Uzaki. Does a great job keeping everybody plugged in. And you can follow Northern Tennis on Twitter at NBC underscore tennis. You can follow Northern TV on Twitter at Northern underscore TV. You can check us out on Comcast Channel 19, Verizon Channel 42. We're also streaming on the web. You can check out our YouTube channel. And you can download our app at appcatch.com to find out all information on Northern TV. You can also check out our Northern TV webpage or email us, northerntv at nburlington.com, for all kinds of information on DVD sales, programming information, sponsorship opportunities, and much, much more. Take that with you! Tough break, but still time left in this one. As I stated, Northern TV will also be on hand later today for girls softball as they open their season versus Huntington Central, who are also coincidentally the Red Devils. That's taking place right after this game, so look forward to that. But I know they're looking to get a big win here in front of the friends, family, and community members here on hand. But the Hounds have been red hot here in this set. Been on fire lately. And I'll tell you, the Greyhounds have been doing an outstanding job both offensively and defensively. And it's really been play at the net like that. As well as they're serving. And RV just has no answer so far, but still, plenty of tennis left to play. And as I stated, we've got some other actions going on simultaneously here. And we'll look what the defense can do here for the Greyhounds. I've been doing this a long time, Jimbo. And I have to say, defense is really the key to any great team. Absolutely, TK. You said it. And these two, Campbell and Gallagher, look like they have a really good rapport here. And they're looking to get a big win. But as I stated, we're going to need a total combined team effort here in addition to our first doubles here. Going to need to get some wins on the singles courts as well. Great shot there at the net. Giving Northern the point. Going to need a total team effort here if Northern looks to pull out this one. And as I stated, RV defeated Northern twice last year. Three sets to two. So I know that Greyhounds would like nothing more than to open their season here with a big win versus a heated rival. And it looks like our first doubles team is certainly doing that. Their part. Getting a big win. And again, for those just tuning in, I'm Mr. James Dowd. I'm joined by broadcasting alum and middle school teacher, Mr. Tyler Kay. We are here live at the farm. It is Monday, April 1st. It is a cool day with the temperature about 50 degrees as the Northern Burlington Varsity Boys tennis team takes on the Rancocas Valley Red Devils. And it is opening day here for the tennis team in addition to a couple of our other teams. And as I stated, Northern TV will be on hand right after this one, producing the girls' softball team. A lot of excitement coming into the season for that team. Finished last season 23-3. and Girls' softball will be taking on the 100 and Central Red Devils. And we look for that one to be a great matchup as well. So, RV looking to stay in this set. We'll see what they can do here. And just another great play there at the net. And that one looks like it sailed out of bounds, but certainly can't blame the Greyhounds for staying aggressive. Looking to get a big win here. And that one looks like it's going to be a fault, and they're going to serve again. But, you know, the wind is really blowing here. It's, it's unseasonably cold for tennis. Um, it is only April 1st, and that's going to do it for that set. And we'll move on here to the next one. There's a lot of excitement at Northern Burlington. You said it, TK. Very exciting spring sports season underway. And as I stated earlier, a couple of our teams started last week, boys and girls lacrosse. Boys team led by senior Tom Breslin, top points leader from last year. And the girls team led by outstanding junior standout Jesse Fell, who had 70 goals on the season last year. So I look for both those teams to be highly competitive and advance to the tournament. And hopefully this boys tennis team can ride some of this positive momentum here that they've got going. 
And Campbell and Gallagher can't say enough about them. Really have been doing a great job here today. But when you have two seniors who've been playing together for a while, certainly they know each other's strengths, they know each other's weaknesses, and RV looked like they even the score there. And RV's going to be looking to get their first lead here in this one. But lots of exciting action going on, and as I stated, lots of teams prepping for a very, very exciting spring season. In addition to the teams I mentioned, boys and girls spring track will be starting their season tomorrow here at the farm. So if our friends, family, community members are on hand, we'd love for them to come out. It's going to be about 4 p.m. What a play! Wow! And just a tremendous volley here going back and forth. And that point's going to go to RV. So now RV with their first lead. And hopefully these boys can capitalize on this. And Certainly we're rooting for the Greyhounds, but we're also rooting for a good game. And I've had the pleasure, TK, to do quite a few games with you over the years. And quite a few games earlier this year with broadcaster Mr. Logan Stewart. Been on hand for some really big wins. And we'll continue to do that. As I stated, to have a really, really exciting matchup coming up for the boys' baseball team on April 20th as they take on the Delran Bears at Arm & Hammer Stadium, home of the Trenton Thunder. So stay on the lookout for that one here on Northern TV. The offense really came out to play in this one, Jimbo. They certainly did, TK. And now RV one point away from getting on the board here and making this one a little more competitive. Certainly Northern in the driver's seat, playing really well today. And we knew the first doubles was going to be a great matchup for Northern. Second doubles also will be a good matchup, and really it's going to be our singles competitors who are going to be the difference makers here today, and that point's going to go to RV, and they're going to take this one. I want to take this opportunity while we have a pause in the game action. If any of our viewers are interested in any sponsorship opportunities to help us inform, entertain, or educate our viewers, you can reach out to our Director of Instruction, Mr. Matt Conowitz, mconowitz at nburlington.com for more information. And certainly we've got a great game here, but you can turn into Northern TV anytime. Like I said, Comcast Channel 19, Verizon Channel 42, our YouTube channel for all kinds of other exciting programming, including our recent Spring Jazz Concert, our recent JROTC Change of Command Ceremony, our Students of the Month, our flagship show, The Northern News, our Northern Sports Desk, and much, much more this spring. They're really exploring the space out there. They are, TK, and that was a great shot. That one's going to sail out of bounds, and the point's going to go to Northern, but great hustle play there. By the Red Devils. You can't teach hustle. And we'll see what they have in store here with the serve. And boom goes the dynamite. That one's going to hit the net. Be a fault. And Arby's going to have another chance here. And that one's going to hit the net. That point's going to go to Northern. Great play by the Greyhounds. But once again, for those just tuning in, I am Mr. James Dowd. I'm joined by broadcasting alum and middle school teacher, Mr. Tyler Kay. Tyler Kay, I want to thank you again for coming. Pleasure to be here. Tough break, but still time left in this one. Absolutely, TK, but Northern, certainly in the driver's seat. RV got the last point, and they're looking to... Hopefully stay in this one. I mean, Northern's really been dominant so far today, but you can never take any opponent lightly. And as we stated, this is a pretty heated rivalry as these teams squared off last year, RV winning three sets to two in both matchups, both home and away. But it's opening day. As I stated, coaches, as Tomasetti, got the team fired up. And unseasonably cold a little bit about 50 degrees we started but nevertheless we're out here northern tv tough in the elements and looking to get a big win here in front of our home crowd and again can't thank the community enough friends families students staff on hand can't see really but outside of the cage here we've got a lot a great turnout of people for this varsity boys tennis match and as I stated, really exciting softball game following up this one. So, a little bit of a pause here as players look to regroup. Could be game point if Northern can get this one. Take that with you! And that's going to do it. 
And you know, the seniors have been doing a great job here today. As we said, five seniors on the team, but we actually have a lot of exciting young players as well on the varsity tennis team. The Hounds have some really exciting JV players too. They do, and you know, this is a young squad on RV as well, so they're looking to bounce back. Great effort by the opposition tonight. It has been. Lally and Fox, nothing to hang their hat on, and Northern's really looking to get a big win. You always want to improve every game. You do, and this is the team that's looking to bounce back from last season. After going 10-7. and seven, Always want to improve every season. Looking to do better. It's clear that both sets of coaches have motivated their players today. Absolutely, TK. And, you know, it's a rivalry, but it's a friendly rivalry. You know, a couple miles separate these schools. And it's been a total combined effort by Gallagher and Campbell here. You can't spell combine without NBC. I'm really excited for the Hounds' next game, too. Me, too. That game's going to be against Morristown. That's going to be on Wednesday. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. That one's going to go out of bounds, and RV is going to get the point. But certainly, Northern's been doing a great job looking to get a big win here in the first set. And we'll see what the Hounds have in store here for the Red Devils. That one's going to hit the net for a fault. It's going to tie the game up here. 30-30. Great shot there by Northern in the lead now. One point away from getting a big win here in this first set. And you can hear the wind whipping by. And it's really, as I stated, a little cold today for tennis. 50 degrees when this game started. But we're toughing it out here. All the boys, both teams, toughen out the weather conditions. Our Northern TV crew out there. I want to thank them for their effort. And we still have another set, possibly two, to play here. As Northern looks to get a big win opening day here at the farm. Oh! Take that with you! And that's going to do it. And again, for those just tuning in, I'm Mr. James Dowd. I'm joined by broadcasting alum and middle school teacher, Mr. Tyler Kay. And we're here at the farm as the Varsity Boys tennis team plays the RV Red Devils. Hard fought, first set. Wow, what a play. That was a great play there at the net. And Northern's really been doing an outstanding job so far. And we're in the second set here. Northern took the first set. Six to one. It's going to be a fault there at the net. RV with another chance here. Going to send that one over. Great backhand. And as I stated, these two guys, clearly they've got a great rapport. And just a great play there. And Sean Lally and Devin Fox, despite... Losing the first set, you know, got a junior, I'm sorry, got a senior and a sophomore playing together. So, you know, experience matters. And we talked about that earlier, TK. Total combined effort from the teams. When you have seniors, when you have great players around you, and you've been playing with the guys for a few years together, it shows. And that's going to be a point for Northern Burlington. But we're still very early in the second set. And again, it's best two out of three. Anything could happen. With this wind, you never know how the ball is going to carry here, as we stated unseasonably cold day 50 degrees here April 1st kicking off this spring sports season for boys tennis in addition to some very exciting other games that are going on including boys and girls lacrosse baseball softball which we'll be doing next golf and more and we're going to be bringing you those scores as they come in here at the farm and that's going to be a point for Northern Burlington now one away and we'll see what RV has in store. That looks like it's going to be a fault. And RV's going to 
do what they can, but again, this wind is just whipping through. And double fault. Looks like that's going to be point for Northern Burlington. So they're going to take over here, serving. And we'll see what the Greyhounds have in store. There's a lot of excitement at Northern Burlington. Certainly, as I've stated, we've had a lot of exciting athletic action going on today and certainly this season, but we have a lot of exciting things in store here at Northern for the fourth marking period. And just to give our viewers and our listeners a, a lowdown of some of the exciting things that are happening coming up. In May, we have a lot of exciting action. We have our annual Scholars Night held at the Joint Base mcguire dix Lakehurst, where we honor our high honor roll and high academic students. In addition, we have our annual high school and middle school band concerts. Those will be coming up on May 15th and 16th, respectively. You can check out our district webpage for more information. We'll also be honoring our middle school and high school students at our annual Greyhound Gala and Greyhound Choice Awards. The gala will be held on May 22nd. The Greyhound Choice Awards at the high school will be held on May 23rd. In addition, we have our second annual JR OTC Awards. That's going to be on May 28th. Can't say enough about that program and those awesome instructors and cadets. They've re really been doing a great job here at Northern. On May 29th, we have our high school chorus concert. On May 30th, our middle school chorus concert. And then in June, we wrap up the class of 2019 on June 13th with our senior awards. And finally, June 18th, graduation 2019. So lots of ways to stay plugged into all things Northern. Lots of events, lots of exciting things, honoring not just our athletes, but our academic, artistic, and just awesome students here at Northern. And again, for those just tuning in, I am Mr. James Dowd. I'm joined by Mr. Tyler Kay. We are here live at the farm. It is Monday, April 1st, 2019, as the Northern Burlington Boys Varsity Tennis Team kicks off their season versus the Rancocas Valley Red Devils. And we're here with this exciting first doubles matchup as Northern's really been cruising in this one. But still looking for our singles competitors and our second doubles team to pull out some wins and hopefully northern can kick off this season with a big w here at the farm And boom goes the dynamite. As we look ahead at the spring sports schedule for tomorrow, the Northern Burlington baseball team is going to be home versus Pemberton. That game is going to start at 345. Golf team is going to be traveling to play New Egypt, also at 345. Girls and boys spring track going to have big rivalry versus RV tomorrow, as I stated earlier. And finally, the volleyball team is going to be playing South Brunswick and that game's going to be 515 they're traveling to South Brunswick so we wish all of our teams the best of luck and certainly rooting for boys tennis here today now you can follow all northern sports on twitter at NBC underscore athletics that's run by our athletic director Dr. Dan Uzaki does a great job keeping everybody plugged in and you can follow northern tennis on twitter at NBC underscore tennis And again, for those just tuning in, I'm Mr. James Dowd. I'm joined by broadcasting alum and middle school teacher, Mr. Tyler Kay. We are here live at the farm. It is Monday, April 1st. It is a cool day with the temperature about 50 degrees as the Northern Burlington Varsity Boys tennis team takes on the Rancocas Valley Red Devils. And it is opening day here for the tennis team in addition to a couple of our other teams. Speaking of athletics... On Saturday, April 13th, Northern Burlington Regional School District will be celebrating their 12th annual Athletic Hall of Fame at the Old York Country Club in Chesterfield. Social hour is going to start at 5, dinner at 6, and this year we have some fabulous inductees, including athletes David Liebeck, William Marshall, Carrie McDonnell, Alyssa Pickett Deckert, in addition to Coach John Black, the 1982 softball sectional champions, and honorary inductee Mr. Robert Kay. 
Always a tremendous night for our athletes, both past and present. Great turnout. Community members, staff, administration, board members. So make sure to check out the Athletic Hall of Fame again. Once again, that's on April 13th. And Northern's really in the driver's seat here looking to put this one away. Great forehand shot there. And that one's going to sail out of bounds. So currently up three points and this one Campbell and Gallagher look to be getting a big win here and as I stated when the singles and other doubles scores come in we'll be providing those to our viewers in addition to our other exciting sporting events that are also happening simultaneously both here on campus and away at other schools so a little meeting of the minds here and these guys are going to try to put this one away. Great effort by the opposition tonight. Yeah, TK. Now, we knew that we are going to get a good effort by the first doubles team, but it's really going to be the singles teams that are going to determine the, the winners in this one. But credit to the first doubles team here, Northern, Campbell, and Gallagher doing a great job. And three points away here in set two. Really exploring the space out there. They have. They've been doing a lot of finesse, a lot of drop shots, getting the ball right outside of RV's ability to get to it. And they really play with a lot of composure. And for the first game of the season, you think maybe there'd be some early season jitters. Looks like that one just sailed away with the wind, but doing a great job. Looking to get a big win. As we stated, these two teams played each other really, really tough last year. That one's going to go out of bounds. No, that's going to go up in this one. And he's going to switch here and serve with the lead. Yeah, I thought it was going to run back for that one, but it looked like it was going to sail out of bounds. You can't spell running back without NBC. That was a good one, TK. Hard fought. Second set. So, Northern cruising in this one. Looking to get a big point here. That one was going to be a great play at the net, but we got a good volley going on here with Hounds, Red Devils, that's going to sail out of bounds. Looks like the wind picked that one up. And Northern now is a point away. So a little help there. One of our camera guys. And uh, Northern looking to serve here for the win. Great play there. And looks like that point's going to go to... I'm sorry, a fault there. Thought that point was going to go to RV, but Northern in command here for Varsity Tennis. Excellent play there by Northern Burlington. As I stated, Northern TV will also be on hand later today for girls softball as they open their season versus Hunter and Central, who are also coincidentally the Red Devils. That's taking place right after this game so look forward to that on northern tv we also have some really exciting games coming up this spring season in addition next month northern tv will be on hand on saturday april 20th as the varsity baseball team takes on del ran and that game will be at arm and hammer stadium home in the trenton thunder we've been talking a lot about boys tennis obviously girls softball coming up but we also have some really exciting Senior Nights coming up next month for Boys and Girls Lacrosse. That's going to be on Monday, May 6th. The girls are going to take on New Egypt. That's going to be at 5 p.m. on our football field here at Northern. And the boys are going to follow up the doubleheader starting at 6.30, also versus New Egypt. So we'd love for our friends, family, community members to come out and support our Greyhounds. That same night, we have our Military Appreciation Night as the Northern Burlington softball team will be taking on Pemberton. That'll be under the lights at the softball field. So lots of exciting things, lots of exciting events coming up. And a really exciting match here as Northern seems to be in the driver's seat here in the second set. Looking to get a big win on opening day. Boys Varsity Tennis. We also have some other scores from other games that are currently going on. Looks like the boys volleyball team lost a nail biter to West Windsor Plainsboro North. Two straight sets, but very, both very close. Boys Lacrosse gets a big away win at Cinnaminson, 9-8, so congratulations. Boys Golf is going to get a win versus Pensacon and take a loss versus RV as those three teams play simultaneously today. 
Looks like boys baseball started their season with a loss, tough loss, Cherry Hill West, 0-4. to But I look for them to bounce back, and girls lacrosse got a big win at Cinnaminson today as well. So, lots of exciting action and lots of ways to stay plugged in to all things Northern. This is actually my 68th game, and looking forward to doing our 69th game later today. As the softball team looking to get a big win to start their season, led by head coach Miss Tara Corcoran. She does a great job. As well as our 70th game, my 70th game rather, broadcasting at Arm & Hammer Park for that very exciting boys baseball versus Del Rand match we were speaking about earlier. And that game's going to be at 10 a.m. on Saturday, April 20th. If our friends, family, community members want to come out, support our hounds, and be on hand for that. So, great play there by the Greyhounds. Outstanding teamwork. Great effort there as we get the point. Wow, what a play! That was an outstanding play, TK. And you know, it says a lot about these seniors when they come out here, spring season, their last season here at Northern Burlington, and really put it all on the line and hopefully contend for a division title or certainly get into the BCSL, maybe win the tournament, get to the state playoffs, make something happen. And I know Coach Thomas said he's got the team fired up and ready to go, as always. Got to love the support here. Friends, family, community members, other students on hand for all of our games. Tremendous community here at Northern Burlington. And I look for this one to be really exciting. And it's clear these seniors have come ready to play, open the season, looking to get a big win here versus RV. They've been doing an outstanding job. And RV looks to have no answer right now. I want to take this opportunity now to thank our Northern TV crew, our facilities department, our athletic department, all of our teachers, staff, and family and friends on hand, as well as our other video production teacher, Mr. Matt Pona, our camera operators, Ms. Megan Hemminghouse, Mr. Andrew McFarlane, Mr. Jeff Alcade, in addition to UTK, obviously coming here, helping us out. As this spring season kicks off, and it actually kicked off last week as both our boys and girls lacrosse teams won two games last week, we had a really exciting spring sports season last year. Just as a recap, the baseball team was 13-7 and seven last year. And now they lost 10 seniors, but they look to be a force once again, led by coach Mr. Doppler. Softball, as we stated, has a big game today, opening their season. They are going to be highly competitive this season. They were 23-3 and three last year. They won their division. They won the BCSL. They advanced all the way to the sectional finals. You can check that game out on Northern TV. And they only lost one starter, and they look to be a top team once again. Boys lacrosse, actually in action here today. They bring back top points leader, Mr. Tom Breslin. They look to be highly competitive after a successful 15-6 and six record, which was actually the best record in program history last year. They were also BCSL Team of the Year, so we wish them the best of luck. Girls Lacrosse returned 70 goal scorer Jesse Fell, and senior goalie Aida Ingram look to be even better than their 11-7 and seven record from last year when they advanced to the sectional tournament. Golf team also playing today versus RV, coincidentally, as well as Penn Salkin. They went 9-5 last year. They're led by head coach Mr. Malcolm. They've got some really talented players like Northern Sports Desk coach Logan Stewart, Joey Sabatino. They look to be a tough opponent. They play at home at the Old York Country Club, as many of you know. Boys Volleyball in action. They went 18-14 last year. They won a play-in game in the sectional tournament, and they look to be competitive once again. You can actually check out a couple of their big wins last year on Northern TV's YouTube page. And finally, spring track was a combined three and four in all their meets, but looked to be a force and be highly competitive with coaches Graf and Barbadoro and Richards. Lots of exciting races in addition to discus, pole vaulting, and much, much more. So as this match wraps up, let's take a look at the other matches that happened today. In first singles, Deruve Modi defeated Vince Paulson. Six sets to one and si six sets to one and six sets to two. Jatine Modi defeated Ankit Keshareddy in a hard fought two set match, six to four and six to one. Possibly the best game of the day was RV's Matt Briscavich defeating Northern's Nikhil Arayath 
two extremely hard fought matches. Tiebreakers in both games went in seven to five and seven to six after a tiebreaker, seven to five. Obviously, we saw Joe Campbell and Gallagher defeat Sean Lally and Devin Fox. Six sets the one, six sets the zero. And Northern's other doubles team, Mr. David Chavone and Singh, defeated Krause and Bolgan six sets to zero in two straight sets. So lots of big wins. You win some, you lose some. But those are the breaks of the game. That's right, TK. But the most important thing for the team, move forward. Tough break for Northern, but plenty of matches left this season. RV's going to get the win here tonight, 3-2. to two. For all of us here on Northern TV, on behalf of Mr. Tyler Kay and Mr. James Dowd, signing off.